The Warhounds come out to the ring. Splash Mikey, Jimmy Uso, and Bobby Lashley. As they're coming out, yeah, they're coming out for a six-man match, which is going to be Sting, Samoa Joe, and a mystery partner. Sting says the mystery partner is an old friend. Now, sad thing about it was Bobby Lashley, we all bought into his uh, story of respect and wanted redemption and everything, and then he turns his back on Sting the minute that Paul, Paul Heyman has offered him a better opportunity. And what a shame. I'll tell you that much right now, man. What a bunch of dog crap. The infamous Warhounds, of course, their their cohort in crime, Nia Jax, is going to be going against Yorichi for the TV title tomorrow night. As of course, Nia Jax was considered a shot for the TV title, and uh, after defeating Alex Gracia Wednesday night. I'll tell you that much right now, man. And who is their partner? Oh, look at that, DDP. All right, Diamond Dallas Page, how about that? Great to see him back here. Always a popular star with the fans, no doubt about it. The original of the Diamond Cutter, even though it was called the Ace Crusher, but Diamond Dallas Page is the one that will map. And then you see other people take, uh, go uh, and uh, go and uh, take it away from him, like uh, Bubba Ray, Bully Ray, and Randy Orton, and hell of a lot of other people. This should be interesting. The uh, Warhounds already had their fun tonight as they uh, beat up poor John Monaco in the back while Splash might be dead. And now DDP going right after Lashley. But Lashley takes it down one big or right hand. And there's a stomp by Sting right on Splash Mikey. Splash Mikey going right out there at Sting. I mean, now Splash Mikey wants to take care of the head of the t head of the table here, uh, the main event mafia table here, which would be Sting. And, oh boy! Oh no! 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 Oh! Oh! Man! Splash Mikey just dominates Sting with a superplex. Now look at how arrogant a Splash Mikey. And now. Bobby Lashley trying to go for a Kimura lock on Diamond Dallas Page, and oh boy, if he's not careful, that could be trouble. That could mean a broken arm for the for the veteran superstar there, and oh, Flatliner, beautiful by DDP. And Warhounds look very dominant here so far. It's looks like two one advantage as Splash Mikey's beat up on Sting. The only one that's around is uh, DDP. And he's helping out Sting there, so but Jimmy Uso handling Samoa Joe like he's a pro. And Bobby Lashley now going after his former main event mafia cohort and overhead suplex by the Dominator. And there's a D there's a close line from DDP. And now Splash Mikey catches DDP off guard with a knee. Now DDP kicking away on uh, Splash Mikey's leg. 
and now a forearm and doesn't even knock Splash Mikey down. Normally that would knock down a normal person, but Splash Mikey is definitely not a normal person. And now DDP, wow, he got the big guy up. Incredible. Ah, the gravity of 2K19, I swear to goodness. Because I think Splash Mikey outweighs DDP by about at least 250 pounds. He might be two of these. Oh, and there's a, D there's a diamond cutter. Oh, my gosh. And going for the pin. Jimmy Uso's got to go in there and break it up, and he does. Oh, and Sting, where is he going? Oh, man. Are you freaking kidding me? And DDP now taking down Jimmy Uso. Unfortunately, I gotta say the weak link on the Warhounds right now would be Jimmy Uso. But there's a couple weak links on the main event on uh, Sting there, on Sting's team there, because you got Samoa Joe who's been out with injuries, and then you yeah, got DDP who hasn't wrestled in a while. Oh, and Splash Mikey taking on Samoa Joe with, a, with a, a kick with those long legs. Good God Almighty. That guy has got some uh, baseball bats for legs. And very dangerous baseball bats. And right now, going right after DDP. Oh, sky high on DDP. I think it's, it's not quite sky high, I should say. It's a sell choke bomb, but it almost looks like it. It almost got like uh, variations of the sky high. Made, made famous by D.O. Brown, and uh, if you want to talk about an athlete that uses it nowadays, if you ever heard of Molly Ball of Shira. I asked Jimmy Uso about uh, if he hangs with, if he still keeps in contact with his relatives, Roman and uh, Jay. He's like, he's like, uh, he gave me no answer. And DDP working over Splash Mikey, wow. DDP could still brawl with the best of them. Well, surprise there. I mean, definitely. I know, considering he's been around uh, doing all his yoga stuff and everything he's been famous for. And if you did not know, DDP did star in a movie called uh, a quite a few movies, but most notably The Devil's Rejects, where he played him and Danny Trejo played bounty hunters. So DDP's got a rich uh, legacy. Oh man, you just nailed Jimmy Uso. What a matchup. This is as uh, world over here. I'll tell you that much right now. The, especially between Sting and Lashley, but you got a lot of supporting cast members in this one. Now right now, Jimmy Uso trying to take down the leader of the bunch, uh, Sting, and uh, looks like with Splash Mikey's help, uh, he's doing a pretty good job of it. I swear, is, the, is, Musty, is my eyes deceiving me, or is uh, Musty Wilson becoming the land of the Giants? Sting with the Scorpion Death Drop. That could be it. Two, 
And that's it, Sting, and wow, DDP comes through for Sting as uh, he prevents Lashley from breaking up the pin. Wow. Unfortunately, like I said, the weak link was the fall guy there as Jimmy Uso, uh, Jimmy Uso got nailed with the Scorpion Death Drop. Holy cow, folks. Well, I'm pretty sure this is not going to be the end of the Warhounds. Now what a, what a moment that is to see DDP back in the ring tag team with one of his good friends Sting. And of course with another good friend Samoa Joe. As I'm pretty sure Samoa Joe got to know DDP right through Sting, uh, through Sting basically. Well what a big victory. Well stay tuned folks got more stuff coming up here next. And Corey Creighton coming out to the ring here. I guess he's going to dress everybody. I see what his arm look like, and it is he is, it is all casted up. Oh my gosh! Marcus the King came through his uh thing. He was going to do. He's going to make Crichton a T-shirt that says "Oh God, Corey," and Corey Crichton is wearing it. Oh my gosh! <laughs> oh man, are you kidding me? Because that's the thing that Marcus the King always said when he seen uh, Corey show up here on Musty Wrestling. He would be proud. I wonder how his games go along with the White Sox against the Angels right now. Yeah, I'll tell you what, guys. If you're a baseball fan, I would say MLB 21 is spectacular and I say because I I've been playing it a lot I've been splitting my time between this and uh get out of character in a little bit uh, you know I'll speak sometimes in character I'll speak outside of character I do apologize I hope that doesn't annoy you if it does I do apologize And here comes Creighton to the ring, folks. Find out what's going on here. And look at that, look at that cast on his arm. He's, he's got to be just one. He loved it. He wanted to be here at Wasteland. Good evening, fans. As you see, you see the bad news on my left arm. My left arm, my forearm has been fractured by that no good, nasty Evan Magnificent. Bad, worst news is that I'm out for at least four months to eight months. So, I mean six months, so that means I'm not going to be here this summer, and I do apologize. What's more heartbreaking was that I even had to mail back the IWGP title to Japan, where they put on that nasty countryman of mine, Will Ospreay, who doesn't even deserve it because he's running around like a big mouth scumbag. And I'll tell you what, right now, I am so sorry about that. Oh, another thing, Marcus the King 41, thank you for the t-shirt, buddy. Yeah, I like this, this is, this is great. I'm playing along with it, my friend. But I'll tell you right now, I guarantee you, when I come back, I hope Evans of the Ugly Face is still here because would I want another opportunity of revenge? Yeah, damn right I would. That bloody scumbag needs to be out of here. I cannot believe that Al Admiral uh, fire up put no firing calls on his contract. Oh, wait a minute. What's going on here? Uh-oh. Oh, what the bloody hell. Oh, man. What is going on? Hey, look at that. It's Reverend Morbid. Yeah, it looks like we got friendly argument. We got friendly uh, exchange of words here. Of 
Corey, I'm sorry to see what happened to you, man. You know I was only playing with you. You know, that no good, nasty Evan Magnificent, like you said, broke your arm, man. And I wanted the dream match against you. And uh, you know what? He uh, basically uh, took it away from me. No, 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 no. Do me a favor. Don't lose focus. This is your moment now. You're going to be wrestling tomorrow night for the world title against Evan Magnificent. This is the thing that everybody works for. You know what? Don't lose focus of that. Just because I'm not in the main event doesn't mean it's no different. It's still the same goal. I know, Corey. I'll tell you what. I have two victories over him during our war over the Great Lakes title but I see now he carries a bigger prize a prize that used to be yours man I'm I'll met to it and you were a heck of a champion I watched you against Christopher and you are uh, really rattled him for Lorenzo like I said that's your guys's business well thank you I'll give you all the respect in the world Morbid you can be world champion I feel like you could be world champion what you gotta do is stay focused and beat him. You're gonna be going against a different Evan Magnificent because now he's the world champion. Now he's gonna be a scumbag that's gonna do everything in his damn power to hold on to it. Rightfully so, I understand that. You know, I, like I said, I'm excited for this, man. I just wanna go out here and pay my condolences and apologize for uh, what happened to you and everything I mean you know I just I feel bad that you're gonna be out for a while oh don't worry my work is not gonna be uh, that that simple I still got four kids to take care of here at home I'm just gonna be busy taking care of them like I said keep your focus and put, put a couple knuckle sandwiches in for me, for him, on him. Corey, I'm going to give him a stump pull or pile driver just for you, my friend. I'll guarantee you that much right now. If I win this time, I promise you that much right now. I promise when you come back, I'm going to hope to become the world champion because you'll be the first guy when you come back, I will give you a title shot. And we will have that dream match. Well, that's greatly appreciated, but remember this, when you're world champion, it's lonely at the top, and it's hell in the it's hell in the path. I'll tell you that much right now. You're going to have everybody shooting towards you. Friends, enemies, adversaries, your mama, your papa, your daddy, maybe even your, your child might be coming after you. You never know, man. I mean, that's a true thing, a true fact about it. Oh, I see how you guys take a tough path at being world champion, but you know what? I grab the toe, I'm gonna be ready to do it, man. I am. Um, and I and I promise that to you. I promise that to the fans. I promise that to my Wolfpack members. I promise that to Nature Boy Rick and everything else. You better believe it. So take care, man. Wow. A respectful exchange between Morbid and Corey. Wow. Everybody would probably think that Morbid is going to come out there and uh, get a heckle Corey because we all know that Morbid is friends with Lorenzo. And Lorenzo and Corey have had their problems. But hey, you know what? Always nice to have a peaceful exchange. Hey, wait a minute, what the heck is going on here? Get the camera back, we got Christopher and some guy in a skeleton suit fighting back. What the heck? Oh my gosh, man. This is insane.
Oh boy, the TV champion. He's got a match later on against Kyle Bennett in Hell in a Cell. That's not going to make it good, man. Good go good gosh almighty, man. I'll tell you that much. All right, man, let's go check in the back and see what the heck's going on. Camera, man, can we get a camera in the back? Yeah. I don't know, I think I'm watching yeah. Shades of the Karate Kid here, basically. Only difference yeah. is that uh, Daniel LaRusso's bald and he's wearing a pink suit. Kick right there by the uh, the skull guy. Right, they had one victim already in the uh, locker room attacks, and that was John Monaco, who got jumped by Splash Mikey. take this one in the parking lot so luckily for Xavier Woods I seen over there getting interviewed uh yeah Again, ouch. <laughs> oh, man, and, uh, supposed to be in a little bit of trouble here. Oh, man. Well, he was, and I... Well, this guy's not a lead fighter because, uh, He's not keeping up really well with Christopher. He keeps letting him have an open advantage, even though he keeps making his own open advantages. Slow over there again to uh to the uh to Christopher.
Chris Lichard going for uh, the big kill, and unfortunately he could not do it. And oh, what the heck? Oh man! What the heck? Uh oh, are you telling me? Who oh man, are you what? What is going on there? I see him do that tombstone pile driver, and I know there's a few people that have that move in their uh, arsenal. That's not good. I think that might be it might be it might be a dead giveaway if I doubt it, but I don't know. And Christopher is just getting uh well he's just getting bamboozled here by whoever's underneath the skeleton suit. And then Xavier Woods and Ray, Renee Young did run away, folks. I'm sorry, it's not Renee Young, it's Chelsea Delicious, okay. Our uh, backstage interviewer. Yeah. Oh no. He's got to cool him off. He's going to cool off that hot pink. Oh man, and once again. All that liquid nitrogen, I swear to goodness. Oh boy, where are they going? Uh, oh, where, uh oh. Oh, we're right in the TV. Oh man, I think I just ruined a good TV. Ow! That did not feel too good. Oh, what is he going to do now? And oh gosh! So, and this mask guy is, i don't know. This mask guy seems like he has something in for uh, Mr. Hovis here. I don't think his—I don't think Christopher's wife's too happy with this. She's already not happy with him uh, losing a match of quite than it caused. Her head will be shaved. Oh, once again. Oh, no, no, no. Oh, no, no. Oh. And whoever this guy is, he, he, he be a Christopher. Oh, my gosh. Oh, this is not good. He's got a match later on tonight. Coming up next, Miss Wonderland challenges Sakura Miura for the women's universal title. Yeah, Miss Wonderland won an eight-woman bell roll for the right to challenge Sakura. So this match is happening right now. Here we go, let's get to the ring right now, shall we?
And here is Miss Wonderland ready to challenge the champion. This should be a good matchup between these two, I'll tell you that much. There's no doubt about it, I wouldn't doubt it.
All right, we're back here, folks, and as uh, Miss Wonderland's going after Sakura, trying to attempt to win the Universal title. Oh my gosh, power bomb over the top rope to the outside of ring. And now Wonderland. Oh man, and uh nasty elbow there. I don't remember this being a false count anywhere match. What power? She's got a power surge going on in this Wonderland. leg drop from the top rope. Oh my gosh. I wonder what has got going on against the curve. We could see a new women's universal champion. And Sakura now going to return the favor, go jump into, oh, she gets it with the elbow. Oh my gosh. Two, and Sakura getting her, uh, getting her second wind here. Oh, it gets a stop then. Oh, there's an elbow. Sends her back to the rope. Standing moonsault. Going for the pin. Oh, man, so close. So freaking close. Uh-oh, one way to Wonderland coming up. Oh, man. Oh, and there's a backbreaker. Oh, man. One of those got to feel like it's very close.
And Wonderland seems like she's getting it going here now. Oh, kick to the back. Oh, man. Secure with the wall form shot that sends Wonderland right on her back and now set it up. Oh, Sakura driver. Oh, not quite. Wow. No, I couldn't get the pen. Oh, and there we go. And now Sakura going to the top rope. Uh oh, what's going on here, And Oh, there's the elbow. One of her favorite finishers. And Sakura gets the win in a very heated contest. And uh, wow. I say heated in competition wise, no hatred whatsoever. I, I swear, uh, tell you what, that was incredible when that match could run either way. And I thought towards the end it was going to go Wonderland's way, and uh, Sakura managed to withstand the barrage of punishment that Wonderland gave her, and she is still the Universal Champion. So congratulations to her. Who knows, maybe it might be a Cleveland Monster Club t-shirt that uh, she is wearing that also that Reverend Morbin and Lorenzo are members of. Coming up next, a uh, big grudge match. Kyle Bennett against Christopher. Kyle Bennett's been one a one-on-one -on -one opportunity to shut Christopher up. Well, tonight, good news he gets, and an even better news for him. Hell in and it's going to be for Christopher's TV title, but the question is, is Christopher even at 100% after what happened to him earlier in the segment when he got attacked by some guy in a skeleton suit. I could have swore I was watching Karate Kid all over again. I'll tell you that much right now.
But nonetheless, here we go. Then coming up afterwards is going to be the main, big main event. Wocho going to try to see if he can take the universal title off the shoulders of Roddy Taylor. All right, here we go. Let's get going with this. There he is, folks. Kyle Bennett. Looking for an opportunity to start. He says he's on his journey to uh, do everything right in the name of his brother, the late Jerry Bennett, who passed away in December. And uh, Kyle's going to see if uh, he's still trying to look for that one, get that, get, that foot in the get that foot in the door, basically. Maybe this might be his opportunity tonight. Let's put it that way. <laughs> well, you know I had to plug that in. Yeah, I seen Sakura's shirt. It said uh, CMC there, uh, Morbid Cigar Guy. Mr. Morbid. Got to plug that in. It's on YouTube, and it's also a Facebook group, too. I mean, uh, basically, uh, check out More Ever and Morbid on, uh, face uh, on YouTube, a.k.a. Michael Damon. Good stuff there. Music and everything else, basically, and also... Check out uh, the Cleveland Monster Club if you are a uh, member on Facebook, and you're in that Cle you're in that Cleveland or Michigan or uh, got no anywhere around that uh, Great Lakes area. Hey, gotta give the props or the props are due. This is Hell in a Cell. This is one of the most dangerous matches. Even though I still consider the original Steel Cage match a day, dangerous one, but Hell in a Cell is getting right up there with that Steel in, in cage match types. I'll tell you that much right now. Anytime you got the chain link, that's going to do it. I'm not talking about the old school blue ones and stuff like that, uh, where, uh, yeah, you know what, hardly any, da really any damage didn't do unless you hit your head really hard on the uh, Steel there. And here we go, folks. Big opportunity for Kyle to shut, to maybe shut Christopher up. If he can do it. 
But I'll tell you, I've seen Christopher take some severe butt kickings and still keeps on giving uh, everybody trouble. Oh, man, there's a neck breaker to start off with. If Kyle wants to win this one, he needs a strike and strike often. And there's a twist of the neck like a bottle cap. Like a ten, like one of those bottles of pop you used to deposit 10 cents for all the time. And once again, working on that neck. I think he might know some of that and you know what nobody else knows of. Oh, there you go, there's the knucklers right into the head. That Christopher's been some tough. You know what, he's recently got off that losing streak by uh, being Wolfchild shockingly for the TV title, which I was shocked about. I'll tell you that much. I saw that match, I don't know what the heck happened there. I'll tell you that much. I was shocked. Oh, and there's a clothesline. Christopher is like in trouble here, wow. Oh, he's got that Russian leg sweep going. Oh, man. Going for the pin. Could this be it? No, Christopher kicks out, so the match goes on. And Kyle Bennett thought he's going to have a short night, a short uh, work night here, folks. Blows him over to, oh, man. And uh, Christopher, a little trick of his own as he, uh, Pulls the rope down as he was going over the top there, and uh, right now, uh, Christopher. C oh, and the champs got the uh, challenger wobbling there with that super kick. Oh man, rams his head against the the fencing. Oh wait a minute, here we go, elbow, and now. Oh man, throws him right in, and oh wait a minute, what is he going to do here? Oh, man, suplex. Right outside the door there. Oh, man, Christopher. Wow. Big, big four. Oh, no, it's to get a kick into the, a kick into the kidneys. But Kyle fights back here. Oh, once again, he walks right into another kick. Oh, man. Christopher, he pulls that super kick out of nowhere. That's the scary part about it. Wow. That's right. And now Christopher, another, four, another forearm shot. Oh, and there's a clothesline. And Kyle now. Kyle with another punch, and... Kyle with a big forearm shot. And another forearm shot with the left arm. He switched, he switched hitting the forearms. Hit him with one right and one, and he hit him with one left. Oh, wait a minute, now, this has been a slugfest, holy cow. Again, but this time Kyle managed to stand on his feet. And oh man, Christopher hits the hold there on the offensing. Wow, what a up here in next. An extreme matchup here between these two. Bennett's going to go back in. He's going to wait for uh, the TV champ to get back in there because he knows he's got to pin the TV champ in order to win that title. And we got, here we go, folks. 
Oh, man. Oh! And Kyle Bears just got busted open with the one-legged code breaker. That's all I call it. Because he only does it with one leg. Oh, no. Oh, and there's the Tornado DDT. Going for the pin. Osper oh, wins. What the heck? Oh, man. He, he sur I guess in other words, uh... Oh, man. Are you kidding me? Christopher makes it through. He survives the he survives the cage match. Yeah. Yeah, the man in pink is banging 500 tonight. Man lost a locker room brawl, but he retains the he retains the most important match, the title. Once again, there is your TV champion. To the dismay of fans, Christopher. Well, there's uh, one half of Jade's, pro I mean, uh, Tracy's prophecy. She's talking about that her husband was going to retain the TV title. Now, tomorrow night, she's got to beat Jade in order uh, to fulfill that prophecy. And I would hate to see if she does that because. There will be a lot of us that would be in trouble with her as general manager. I hope not. Go Jade. All right, folks. Main event coming up. Wolfchild against Ronnie Taylor. Big match up here. And this is going anywhere like this is going right now. Uh, odds are not looking good for Wolfchild because... All the champions in this segment have retained their title. I'll tell you that much right now. Here we go, folks. Main event time it is. Big time match up here. Universal title. And there is a challenger, the former, recently, former television champion, Wolfchild. Good friend of Reverend Morbid's, good friend of uh, Lorenzo's.
All right, we're gonna find out. Okay, we'll see how this one goes tonight. Like I said, if you're a challenger in this segment right now, the odds are looking good. But uh, with with Rochelle, who knows? I'm not. Uh, you know what? Someone tells me don't put your odds on against Wilchow, but it's a tough one because these two are great athletes. As this is a matchup that fans love because they're both fan favorites. They don't do anything to uh, make the, they don't do anything uh, make the fans mad. I'll tell you what, I'm going to enjoy watching this matchup. This is kind of a like a matchup you hate to see a loser in. You hate to see somebody come out on a short end. And there's that beautiful universal belt. What a beautiful belt. I swear to goodness. It's going to be a hell of a matchup. Show starting off a couple jabs there. Oh, and uh, Ronnie Taylor comes back with a nice swift on. Oh, couple of change of kicks there. Beautiful. Like I said, once again, this is a matchup you hate to see a loser in. Somebody come up short. It would be heartbreaking to see if they lose the title or don't get the title. Depend on what side of the coin you're on. Either you're the champion or the challenger. Two popular guys here. And all the way. And there's another nice kick to the face. Or no, to the chest of Ryan Taylor. And right now, oh, kicks him right in the corner. And again. And once again, Wilchow putting his foot right in the chest as he's pushing him back in that corner. Going for the pin. One. Not quite. Still need to do a little more, Challenger. The Challenger still needs to do a little bit more if he wants that title. Throws Ronnie in the corner, and oh, man, catches him with a knee into a running spit. Barraging knee to the chest. Beautifully done by the challenger. Oh, but Ronnie with the, the veteran move, he knew how to counter that. Ah, no problem, man. They, they, quite all right, Marcus the King. Quite all right. This is the main event of the evening here, folks, of night one. We'll be back here tomorrow at 8 for uh, about, give us about maybe 8 or 9-ish to, uh, to uh, what is it, start the second night. Oh, man, beautiful uh, Michinoku driver. 
keep getting those two mix up between that and the Falcon Arrow. Falcon Arrow should know it's a body slam into a driver and then, yeah, the Michinoku is a Samoan drop into a spinning driver. Going for the pin. One, two, oh, not two. Ah, man, they came back, okay. So the Angels won, so Angels won that match tonight that Marcus was playing on uh, MLB 21. Like I said, once again, I'll say, and I can't say any more times, uh, you're a baseball fan, you're looking for a real good one to play, and you got either a PlayStation or an Xbox, get MLB 21. Really brilliant. And then uh, Wuchel's got the ch champion in trouble. Oh, man. Wow. Ronnie Bear, be careful not to be, uh, oh, wait a minute, but, oh, beautiful judo arm drag showing Wuchel, he knows a little bit of sort of like martial arts. And Ronnie set him up. Oh, pile driver, wow. Beautiful. My gosh, Ronnie Taylor wins. Wow. What the heck? That was incredible. Yeah, the iron driver it was. And that's not golf, and that's not golfing device either. That was what Ronnie used on all watch out with the pile driver. I'm shocked. Yeah, definitely. I ouch what happens right. I don't know what's going on. You know what I get? I I, I don't know. <laughs> I'm, I'm gonna go with personal opinion here. It's like I love running the stuff, but it's like uh the AI is so I don't know. I was hoping for a longer match. Yeah. yeah uh, I, you know, I don't know, man. It's like, I, oh, man. Some of the matches you think, uh, some of the matches you, you hope to be classic sometimes. What the, what is going on in the AI's mind of WWE 2K? I swear. I'll put it that way. But I'll tell you what, I, yeah, I guess it is what it is. Even though, uh, congratulations to Ronnie on that. No doubt about it. No doubt. It's not disappointing that he won. It's just disappointing how I thought that should have been a classic match between those two. I don't know what happened. But likewise, I thank you all for joining us here tonight. This is Duke Calloway. And I will see you once again here tomorrow night in Cleveland for night two. Remember, main event will be Morbid against Magnificent for the MSW World title. Morbid better have his shoes on for that one. Take care, guys.